Hello beautiful viewers, Bobby Magic here. Today we are going to be doing pick one. Pick one! I thought I'd take over Eric today because he's been quite busy doing his bartending thing. He hasn't told you but I'm going to be the spoiler alert. Indeed he has. Oh, we should be screened recording this because he likes us when we do that. Hmm, thank you darlings. Let's load his list. Alright. For those of you who are meeting me for the first time, my name is Barbie Magic. I am a drag queen and do not adjust your screens. This is my drag persona. Those of you may have also known me by Alexa Concordia or Made in the Shade, Made in the Light, Made in the Lux, Made in the Money. You know, I have many names. But I don't want you to forget the fact that I am the original and I shall always be uh, the headliner, Barbie Magic. That's right, Barbie Magic. All right, here we go. Pick one. Would you ever do porn? Mm. Are you asking me as a drag queen or are you asking me as a boy? If you were asking me as a drag queen, the answer would be the adult film look I would participate in would simply be um, tasteful, classy. It would not be trashy. Get that right, all right, Felicia. The sexy, sultry, catch me from my good side. Right, shoulders back, chest out. My double D's are not in right now, don't judge me. Why would I do adult film work? The exhibitionist in me might, you know, enjoy that. If I were to, but I won't. I'm a classy woman. I do not do that. If Playboy were to ask me if I would like to do that, I would say yes, because Playboy is Playboy, it is classic. Below the belt, I just find that to be a little more racy and more reserved for private clientele. I mean, you know, not clientele, but <laughs> that made me sound slutty. I meant like a classy working girl. That made me still sound slutty. I meant like, you know, a classy woman who's working, not the streets, but like a business. You know, a busy lady, because I'm busy. I'm a busy drag queen. I'm the busy drag queen, a busy drag queen, and get it right. I would probably want to do it too, because I would want people to feel the goodness that I would be feeling. That would be the only reason. Would I actually want to do it? No. And the reason why I would not want to do adult film work or pornography. Ugh, how do I say this lightly? I'm a fierce, a classy, a magical, elegant woman. I do not need to be showing my privates. I'm not prude, okay? Don't think that I am. People do not need to see my vagine. People do not need to see the inside of my underpants. They do not have the key to the chastity belt. All right, that's the truth. They don't have it and they will never get it because I'm the one who has it. Because if you don't talk to Svetlana, she will say you cannot go in. That was weird. I don't know where she came from. Now, if I was doing a movie that was like sexy, steamy and sultry and, you know, it, it caused for there to be a nude scene, I would not shy away from a nude scene. No, of course not, because hello, Oscar a winning role. Of course you would take off your shirt or your panties. Of course, for the purpose of creating the role of the sensual artistic expression only, not for any other endeavours, alright? Because as it is, I like I have this complex, you know, and like if people look at me and they, they say, oh, and now we know what she's like. There's the mystery gone. Hello? Who does that? And not me, clearly. I have been guilty of, of releasing a few nudes here from there, but that's only because, hello, everybody does it. When you have the digital era at your fingertips, you have fellows that are your bedfellows who request to see the goods so you can entertain them while they're afar. I don't think it's necessary to do pornography. Does that answer your question? But I do like to be sexy. Don't get me wrong. I love to be sexy. But sexy and classy, not sexy and trashy. You know what I mean? Just because you slept at the whole neighborhood, you don't have to broadcast it to the whole world. You know what I mean? Never kiss and tell. This is Bobby Magic telling you to make sure you keep it real. 
Welcome back to Real Feels with Eric Ahila. That's me, by the way. Just in case you were wondering, because I'm like not in third person, but like you must want to know, right? That that's me. I'm working my best. I'm not jump cutting this, so keep up with my flow if you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. I have to do a pick one, and apparently Barbie already did the pick one for you, but I'm gonna answer it for you anyway because I think it's appropriate. Now, I don't have it in my hand, but I have it on the screen, so... The question was, would I do porn? As a male, not as a drag queen. And to answer that honestly, first of all, the pay would have to be really, really good. Like, a really good pay. Number two, my partners would have to be like tested 100% like because hello remember the scare from like a few years ago don't even get me started on that okay number three what am I doing exactly like hello like really like it has to be like a high class all the way do you know what I mean like I mean like Cinemax kind of like produced really nice I'm not talking about like being in a basement like with a chair and have a bunch of guys like game. do you know what I mean like can we like not go there like okay like really no that's not what I'm going for here like <laughs> you <laughs> really I know you have to like, climb the ladder to like your glory days and not the glory hole okay but like hello no no uh, no I have class and I'm not saying all you adult film stars do not have class okay I'm pretty sure you all do in your own way but like I don't even like really the z word because it's like then you're like now you're classist really I'm not a classist but like what I'm saying to you is like in my like you know how like people have like body dysmorphia like i have like fairy tale dysmorphia like i'm like a prince from like a kingdom i'm royalty right and like it would be like so like pish posh taboo you know what i mean like we would not do that we'd probably like talk about it like you know but we wouldn't do it <laughs> like right like hello it's always more fun to talk about the idea of doing it but like actually doing it because then like the whole world would like really know and let's just get like one thing straight okay I would not do pornography. I would, I would like totally do like Hollywood theatrical, like adult style porn, you know, like where you were like, I don't mind like full frontals, whatever. Like if we're filming a movie and it's Hollywood, whatever. But like, if you're actually like asking me like pay, I'm like, no, because like, first of all, that's like one thing that's like mine. Do you know what I mean? Like that's private to me. Like if I'm gonna be like a very public eye kind of person, public finger kind of person, like, you have to have some kind of privacy or privacy. Do you know what I mean? Like you have to have that. And if you're just giving it away for everyone to see, then like, what's the point? Do you know what I mean? Like people either wanna wanna want it or they won't wanna want it. And like, either way, you're kind of, no. Do you know, I just, no. Like one thing is like a date and like send a few selfies here or whatever, but like, hello, that's how you have to test the goods. I don't believe in like, you know, going to town with somebody, you know, intimately, if you really want to know. Not like I do that, but like if I was going to be in a relationship with somebody, I would not just like do that to do that. Like there has to be like a reason for why we're exchanging that kind of energy. Do you know what I mean? Like if you don't, we're going to talk about that like later on in another one about like sensual energy or like sexuality and sensual energy, you know, or something like that because really that's what it is you know because you're really just exchanging energy like i don't do that like just with random people like in college you know like i have an index card with like everyone's name on it by the way so just i i can keep track of the fact that I, like, i'm not a slut you know <laughs> like for real but like at least i know what i know you know like you don't do it you know what yeah this is why the reason why i probably wouldn't do pornography too is because let me just say that when i did have like I went to college, I got my degree, okay? And it wasn't in being a slut, but let me tell you, I had my days, okay? Like, I had my days. And it wasn't a lot. Like, we don't need to talk about this. But like, everybody out there, hello. Like, if you, don't pretend you're prude, okay? Like, and if you are really, like, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because like, I check myself, check. And let me just tell you that experience will definitely like, give you like experience and it will teach you a lot about yourself and one thing that i learned about myself with encounters with people was that i felt really dirty afterwards like when it was like not even a necessary encounter do you know what i mean like if i want to have like an encounter it better be like a good encounter it's not going to be like a gross encounter and i've had those gross encounters 
Yeah, like, I've had the gross encounters of like the fifth kind, okay? <laughs> it wasn't even a gross encounter of the first kind or the second kind or the third kind. It was like a gross encounter of like the fifth kind because it was just gross. And it wasn't like kinky gross, it was just gross. Do you know what I mean? Like I felt gross on the inside. Like no amount of holy water bathing in would have like cleansed my soul at that time because I needed to cleanse it from the inside and no amount of like external washing would have cleansed it. If you know what I mean, like if you, don't know let me just dumb it down for you I had to grow on the inside I had to grow a lot and I didn't grow and I thought by like sleeping around I would grow and the only thing I did grow was an understanding of how it works out there in the gay world growing up I mean you know from like the 2000s era really because that's when like the you know it was becoming okay you know hey whatever Yay to the pioneers who led the new evolution of the gay era. <laughs> right? Ugh. So, yeah, that's your answer. Okay. And, but you know, though, like, no. <laughs> right? You go back and forth that, like, I wouldn't mind modeling. You know what I mean? But, like, in nude modeling, there'd have to be, like, if I was going to do nude modeling, okay, I don't consider that pornography. I consider that queer art, okay? But if you want to put that in there, yeah, whatever. I would totally do, like, adult photography. Um, and the only reason why is because artistic expression and you have to love your body and I love my body And let me just tell you I love nude photography like I'm not gonna lie I love nude photography and like I've taken nude photography before so like I'm not ashamed Do you know what I mean? Like I would be the first one to say hey I took a nude photo and I would post it so you can't go later and say oh my god look at what I found Like to try to tarnish my image first of all I don't think I'm ever gonna be running for office or like in politics Sorry to ruin your, your dream, you know like Sorry, I won't be your president. Yeah, it won't happen. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. But I'm pretty sure everybody, like, in Hollywood has had some kind of a past. And let me just tell you, like, I'm not out there blowing anyone for cocaine, okay? Because I don't do that, okay? And I'm not out there, like, you know, tarnishing my reputation by, like, you know, harassing people or, like, not paying my bills or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm doing everything I can to not be a hazard to society, okay? Let me just tell you. So, yeah, I'm allowed to, like, send a dick pic here or two if, like, I'm going to be potentially dating somebody. And I want to test their goods, right? Like, first of all, I do not like a turtleneck unless I'm wearing one. Rule number two, you better like have really good breath. And rule number three, I probably shouldn't be talking about like what I'm looking for in a guy right now because I'm really not, you know. Number four, I'm closed for business right now. Like the shop down here is closed. We are like going through like a rejuvenation, you know, like a renewal. For those of you who don't know, ladies and gentlemen, I, Eric Kahila, am a certified bartender and I'm TIP certified too, which means I'm qualified to legally serve you alcohol and to be able to know when to cut you off. I'm a good friend to have around. <laughs> Till next time, keep it real and always feel. Catch you on the feel side.